hello and welcome back to another vlog i'm starting off the vlog a little bit later in the day i just did a ton of laundry i kind of let it pile up washed the bed sheets washed a bunch of towels things like that so it's saturday i'm about to head out in the next 30 or so minutes i'm gonna head to trader joe's i kind of pushed it off until the afternoon like late afternoon evening time so i'm kind of hoping that i've missed the crowd so we're gonna go to trader joe's and stock up on some groceries for myself for the week christian is actually out of town again this weekend and into the week he has a work cruise every five years they go on a cruise for like five days i'm gonna cook some like different like meal prep for myself and some different dinners because well there's one thing in particular from trader joe's that i want to get and it's the vegan pesto and it has cashew in it and my boyfriend can't have cashew so i'm gonna buy it and make um dinners this week with it a couple dinners and then um do another type of dinner and then meal prep is going to be different i'm going to be using chickpeas so i'm just kind of like branching out getting a little bit like more creative into like different foods that he wouldn't eat well he can't eat it because he's allergic but yeah so i've been dying to try the pesto and um yeah i'm gonna cook some dinners tonight this week with it so I'm excited and I'm gonna be filming a work week of my life next week I haven't done it in a couple of months so I'm gonna be filming that next week so the dinners that I'm cooking just stay tuned if you're interested I went on like a whole TikTok thing and was like looking for easy Trader Joe's meals and I found a couple so I put together a list and I'm gonna get uh, my lunch meal prep from Trader Joe's and then my dinners for the week and some groceries and Then of course I do have to go to Publix, but I'm gonna go tomorrow because I have to run a few errands tomorrow But I'm gonna go to Publix to get us get my like staples that I get there because they don't have them at Trader Joe's But that's what's going on. I cannot wait to get my hair done I just I just looked at my hair in the viewfinder. I can't wait to get my hair done Next weekend, it's been since the last week of January and it's the middle of May. I can't wait to have some fresh, bright blonde for summer <laughs> for the next couple of months. And yeah, so just wanted to go ahead, start off a vlog and welcome you back to another video. We're gonna head to Trader Joe's. I'll obviously do a haul and you'll see what I'm cooking throughout the week in the next vlog or tomorrow night I'll probably cook a recipe potentially i'm going to be grabbing a protein for dinner tonight because i have some leftover rice and green beans from dinner the other night with christian and i want to eat those so i'm going to grab like a protein because i didn't pull anything out yesterday which i should have i should have put something in the fridge to thaw but i didn't so i'm going to look for something um like a different type of protein i know they have like chickens that are like pre-marinated so maybe we'll try one of those i actually have never tried one of those before so maybe we'll look at some of those try something and see what we find. Anyways, that was a long intro, but let's head to Trader Joe's. Just got home from Trader Joe's and I got three big bags of stuff. And I'm just gonna go through each bag and show you what I got. I didn't get the usual stuff. This wasn't like a big grocery stock, just stuff for me for the week. So I got sourdough bread. This I'm gonna put in the freezer to help it last longer. I always put all my bread in the freezer. So I'm probably gonna have this for breakfast tomorrow. I got some raw almonds. I got the individual bag, so I thought this would be great for work just to grab a little individual bag and put it in my purse. I got chomps. I love chomps. Such a great way to get protein in. I got the just original beef flavor, and then I really wanted to try the jalapeno one, so I got two of those, and then two of just the original. Got a pineapple. I got a red onion for the little Mediterranean bowls that I'm doing for lunch meal prep. I got a sweet potato for dinner a couple nights. You'll see in the next video or in like my work week of my life. Great tomatoes for the Mediterranean bowl. 
Got some bananas. I love having these in the afternoon. Oh, I'm excited about this. Okay, so I saw that Trader Joe's has prebiotic. Oh wait, no, it's just probiotic. Probiotic sparkling beverages. I got the ginger lime flavor. I'm excited. They had two flavors at my Trader Joe's. They had the tangerine and the ginger lemon. I got the ginger lemon. Got garbanzo beans for the lunch meal prep this week. This is gonna be my protein. Rice tarts of palm. I got two boxes. Um, figured this could be, I'm either gonna do this or I have right rice for lunch meal prep my hair is sticking to my lip balm but got this i really like the hearts of palm pasta so i want to try the rice out spinach for dinner one week this week red pepper for dinner this week broccoli for dinner this week i got some roasted garlic hummus to have as like a snack or to put on my mediterranean bowls Got tzatziki mainly for the lunch meal prep bowls. Got the vegan kale, cashew, and basil pesto. So this is the stuff that I was talking about that Christian can't have because it has cashew in it. I'm really excited to try this. I'm gonna do like a pesto dinner one night. So got that. Carrots to dip in the hummus or the tzatziki, romaine lettuce, cucumbers, for the lunch meal prep. Feta for lunch meal prep. And then I don't know if I'm gonna get sick of this. I am the type of person that could honestly eat the same thing multiple days in a row and not get sick of it. As long as I'm not eating it for like seven days in a row, if I'm doing it for like four or five days, like I'm usually good and then switch it up. So my protein for dinners this week is gonna be just chicken sausage. I'm cooking it two different ways, so I'm trying to decide how I'm gonna do the meals, but this is the protein source for both recipes. So I think it will also be easy to kind of eat this for like five nights this week because I am switching up the flavors and how the chicken sausage is gonna be like cooked and what foods it's mixed with. So I got this, and then lastly for dinner tonight, I'm excited to try this. I really don't know how to say this. Let's try. Sure. Let's look it up. This is what I always do when I don't know how to pronounce something. I Google how to pronounce, and then it usually pops up. Shawarma chicken thighs. So I'm gonna do this for dinner tonight, and there'll probably be leftover, so I'll probably have it for either lunch tomorrow or dinner tomorrow as well so that will be nice and easy i've never tried this before i'm excited that's the trader joe's haul that's everything that i got i usually get a bunch of frozen stuff but i wasn't going for that this week and then i'll go to Publix tomorrow and get milk and yogurt anyways i'm probably gonna film a tiktok haul of my trader joe's grocery trip and then i'm gonna put this stuff away and then i'll start cooking dinner and I'll let you guys know if this is good because they also had a pesto one, but I didn't want to overdo it because I'm cooking pesto this week. So I got this one, but they had a pesto one too. But that's all. Good morning. I'm about to make my coffee and I think I'm gonna make a brown sugar shaken espresso today. I made this in my last vlog. I'm making it with cashew milk, but I would probably suggest making it with oat milk. I feel like the oat milk would help a little bit with the sweetness. I shared the recipe in the last vlog. So I just did a tablespoon of brown sugar in here and then I'm gonna add a little bit of vanilla and then I just brew the espresso over this instead of making it into like an actual syrup. Okay, and then I'm gonna pour it into here. That was like just the right amount of everything. It's for some reason so much better this time than it was the first time that I made it. I don't know what I did differently, but 
it's so good i don't even think you need to do it the hard way and make the syrup on the stove like just brewing the espresso over top of it kind of like mixing it around pouring it in a mason jar shaking it pouring it over your milk perfect i'm in the car now i'm about to head to run some errands i'm gonna go to sprouts and get some teas they have some of the teas that i'm looking for at sprouts and it's closer than whole foods so i'm gonna head there look at their prices for certain groceries that i'm gonna get at Publix and see if they're like around the same price or the same price and then just get them there but if they're like a couple dollars more i'm just gonna go to Publix and get the rest of my groceries because i need to go that way anyway because there's a cvs over there i need to pick up my prescription i need to get more face wash things like that so just a few errands to run today i wanted to get all my errands done this morning before like the afternoon so i could go back home chill a little bit and then meal prep my lunches for the week but yeah let's head to sprouts Okay, just got home from running my errands, went to Sprouts, and then I had to go to Publix because I didn't have my milk at Sprouts or the yogurt that I eat for breakfast. So quickly went to Publix after I picked up my prescription and then some face wash. I'm gonna try this Cetaphil face wash out. I usually use the CeraVe one, but wanted to switch it up. So I got the small size of this just to try. It'll probably still last a while, but I'm gonna try this out. I really wanted to try this. I really am craving a soda, but I don't want the caffeine of a soda. So I've never tried this brand before, Zevia, I guess is how you say it. It's kind of like a Coke Zero, I guess. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know how the flavor is different, but I got these to try. I almost picked up some poppies, but I decided not to, because I don't need any more. Lemons, and then these are the teas that I got. Roasted dandelion root tea. This really helps with digestion and also water retention, and it cleanses your liver. Um, lemon balm, which calms the nervous system. And then I got these Tulsi teas. So I got those flavors. And then I'm almost out of my coffee beans and they won't get here in time. So I saw that Sprouts carries the La Cologne and they were $4 off. So I got a box. I don't know how fresh they are, which kind of sucks. I'm kind of against buying beans from the grocery store because they're not usually that fresh, but I really needed some. And since they were discounted, I decided to pick them up. And then I got Himalayan Gold flavor of my popcorn so i'm gonna restock my teas put together some lunch and just hang out until i start meal prepping okay just made some lunch with some of the leftover chicken i still have a lot left so i'm gonna have enough for dinner tonight so for lunch i made just some chicken lettuce wraps with tomato red onion feta cheese and then i drizzled some of this Primal Kitchen Ranch on top, and that will be my lunch, and then I have enough for dinner, and I'll probably just do the same dinner as I had last night, and then I will have eaten all of the chicken. It's pretty good, and um, I'm enjoying it, so I'm excited to have this for lunch. <laughs> much later i just sat on the couch for the past three hours and was editing i'm gonna try and get a video up tomorrow so i've just been doing that and i'm about to start prepping the chickpeas and i'm gonna cook them in the oven with just some seasonings and then just prep the rest of this stuff and cut up all of the veggies for the little mediterranean bowl that i'm doing for lunch meal prep this week and then i have my dip of course. I'm excited to have kind of like a switch up of like a protein source.
Okay, here is the meal prep. It looks so yummy. It's probably one of the easier meal preps because all you had to do was just bake the chickpeas and that's it. You could even cook them in the air fryer to make them even crispier. I put the tzatziki in those four containers back there and then I'm gonna have to wash these containers and then prep it the night before after these two run out for the hummus. And then I put the hearts of palm rice in Christian's containers since he is gone and this is what I'm gonna be heating up and then I'll combine the bowls together. But I'm really excited, this looks really yummy. exporting my YouTube video right now I'm going to upload it I just watched it back and I think it's good I always watch it back and then when I upload it right before I post it I'll watch it again once it's posted because sometimes when you export it from Final Cut it happened like one time so it scarred me all of the words from all of my little this for example it was all gone after I uploaded it so I always double check and watch it through in the morning right before I post it just to make sure everything's still good to go so just did that I need to undo the bed I'm probably gonna make some tea it's later than I would like it to be doing some lemon balm tea Thank you. 